Why did you take on this role? Well, uh, I love David Ayer as a filmmaker, uh, and I love Arnold. I grew up watching Arnold. I have three brothers, and uh, we've seen everything he's ever done in the action world. Uh, so it was kind of a no-brainer. I was like, yeah, I want to work with both of these guys. Uh, so, and I'd already had previous plans and everything. I canceled everything and, uh, and went after this one. So that's how that started. <laughs> So, um, meeting Arnold, did, were there any surprises, or did you go what you expected? Um, well, I was surprised at how available he was, because, you know, he's an iconic actor and uh, former governor. I thought he might have a lot more um, entourage around handling business all the time, and that wasn't the case. He was very present and very available, and... Uh, open to joke around and everything and not always on a cell phone and so I was like wow that's a that's refreshing you know so he's still my hero <laughs> and, and any acting pointers from him uh -huh. uh, don't look like a pussy kid no I'm kidding he didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say that no he was awesome he was he was just fun and uh <laughs> <laughs> Don't get in my way, kid. Yeah, no. It was great. We had a good time, and he was just one of the boys, so we didn't feel like there was any separation uh, at all in that way. You know, we were all a team doing a job, and, and that's what it felt like. I really appreciated that from him, so it was good. What can, I, what can you tell us about the character you play? Well, uh, he was... I, I just used my background because, you know, his name was Neck. So I figured, short for redneck, I'm from Georgia. That was easy to fall into for me. Uh, um, so I just really drew on the characters I grew up with. You know, I grew up on a dirt road. Um, lots of hunting, everyone was hunters. So I based that, he was a hunter, but he just hunted people uh, for a living. But that's how I grew up. He was a tracker, ex-Marine, all that. Very like my hometown area. Uh, kind of guy. So that's what I based it on. And I remember David at first wanted, in our first meeting, he, he really wanted me to be the preppy guy that you wouldn't assume would be a killer. And uh, somehow I got him frustrated. And he said, oh, fine, shave your head. And I shaved it. And then the next time I saw him, he's like, what did you do? I was like, you told me I could shave it. So I changed it completely because uh, I didn't want to be the preppy guy. I wanted to be something else. So, we had a funny moment, but he accepted me. <laughs> now, these <clears throat> these uh, characters, these D DA agents, uh, they're mm -hmm. not completely squeaky clean, are they? No. I. What's the saying? If you stare into the abyss, it will stare back at you. I'm sure the, they're immersed in this drug world and uh, the craziness around it. So, I can't imagine how it must be to really be immersed in that all the time because David made that available. Uh, here we were able to do ride arounds, uh, ride alongs with the, with police officers. Joe, I think, actually was a, a witness to real bust and all that. So you get to feel that energy and it's intense. It's real. Um, so that was important to get to feel that before we went into this world and help, help you understand where that intensity comes from. 